Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your bi-weekly love reading for the end of February. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius. Um, not all messages will resonate with everybody, so please take what does, leave what don't, and have fun with the reading. So, alright, let's see what Sagittarius has for the last part of February. Ask all messages we brought clear and directly through these cards. And all messages that come in be for the best and greatest good of our Sagittarius friends. All right. All right. So, um, Sagittarius, you guys could be feeling like you um, are not receiving what you feel like you should. You sh could be waiting for a new beginning with an earth sign. You could be waiting for um, some sort of abundance to come in emotionally, uh, financially, but just a new beginning, a new start. You're waiting for your gift from the universe um, that seems to be taking longer than what you had hoped. I will get all your cards out and then I will clarify them too. So we will see exactly what that's about. All right. Your next two cards out were the King of Cups and the World card. So you're waiting for somebody that you have um, a, a un amount, undescribable amount of feelings for. This is somebody that has unconditional love for you as well. However, they don't express their feelings very well. They keep them um, very closed in, very um, keep very to themselves. They are fling. So they love you. Okay, they feel. things at the moment and you're waiting for them to uh, finish out those chapters so the two of you can come um, together and have this new beginning that you have been waiting for. In the past, this person uh, could have not been the most um, honest with you. They could have ran away uh, or like ghosted you um, in the past or when they talk to you they don't they don't necessarily lie to you but um, they they don't divulge the whole truth to you um, and you can feel you feel this like you know that they're not telling you everything. Well look at that the ace of cups. Um, yeah, like I said, the love is here between the two of you. There's no doubt about that. Um, and in the past, they, this was just everything you had hoped it would be. Everything that you had wanted was all wrapped up in this one person. Um, you guys started out very, this emotionally escalated very quickly for this group of you with this person. But, and it's based off of true love. Like, this is real love. There is real love here um, with this person. The devil in reverse. So, um, they are currently breaking away from somebody that they, somebody else that they are bonded to. Um, this is also soulmates. Um, so, you're waiting for this person to break free from somebody that they are chained to. Um, that could be the major life cycle that you guys are waiting for them to complete. Yeah, you could be waiting for them to get a divorce or you, Sagittarius, are the one that is needing to break free from this bond and, um, and get this divorce. But this is also... Um, in the future, the two of you will have a very balanced relationship. Karma will be um, balanced out. The truth will be spoken. And the two of you can move forward in a very balanced relationship.
could be dealing with a Virgo, a Libra, a Capricorn, lots of major arcanas in this, the last two weeks of February, a lot of big changes. But um, right now, you guys are just kind of keeping to yourself, going within, um, working hard on yourself, uh, following that inner light, following your path, uh, and knowing that having trust and faith in the universe is going to bring the two of you together. With the sun, the universe is doing what they can do to put the two of you together at this moment. Things are being illuminated. Your guys' path is being clearly shown to each other and how to get back to each other. Look, I can't believe that. All major arcana right there. Wow. All right. These six of cups, most definitely dealing with a soulmate. Like I said, the bond between the two of you is very strong. You're hoping to come together with this person. You're wanting, um, you're wanting this, uh, person to come together. So with you, so you can start a family, they could be watching you from afar, um, as well. Uh, yeah, I'll clarify that here in a second. Oh, beautiful. All right. Your last two cards. The five of wands in reverse and temperance. Amazing, amazing cards to finish out the spread. Um, with your being coming out in your own spread with temperance and the upright um, balance. Finding the beauty in life. Um, not allowing your inner, um, not allowing those inner conflicts within yourself. And just eliminating all the outside things that are keeping the two of you apart. Um, you are going to receive communication from this person. Very quick communication, whether text message, phone call, social media. Uh, just very quick, um, out of the blue messages from this person. Could be from an earth sign um, with the Knight of Pentacles. Nice. It's also being clarified by the alchemist. So... Um, could be a Virgo, Gemini, or a Virgo with Gemini in their chart. Um, but this communication is going to open up um, the manifestation process. It's going to open up uh, a newfound hope, as well as them letting you know that they, they have worked on their stability. They are ready to come forward. Um, ready to offer you that pinnacle that they have in their hands. And the two of you are manifesting each other into your lives because you're using the tools that you've learned along the way, Sagittarius. So let's get some clarifiers here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? The Three of Pentacles. So yeah, you're waiting on this new beginning. You could have been a third party or you have a third party, Sagittarius, but you're waiting on this new beginning, this um, gift from the universe. Um, because you no longer want to be a part of a third party or have a third party. Why is a can of cups in the world here? Or well, what's Yeah, you're waiting for this person to um, end this major life cycle that they are that they are needing to complete, or this is you, but um while they're doing it, they're very closed off. The emotions are being hid. They're hiding behind that wall. Um, like I said, they have this unconditional love for you, but you, they don't always express it. They have a hard time um, telling you what's going on, telling you how they feel, because they're going through some major life changes right now. Um, so they're they're being very stingy with with their communication. With they could not be communicating at all with you at the moment. Especially with the Prince of Swords here in reverse. Why is the Prince of Swords here for Sagittarius? Whoa, way too many. The Knight of <laughs> the Knight of Wands. So um even though this this began very, very, very quickly um, in, in the past. 
the two of you, um, you came together, it, it escalated very fast, the emotions, the love, the, the physical, um, but then it, they possibly ghosted you just as fast as what they came in, um, leaving you to wonder if it was just about sex, if there was really these feelings there, but it was, it was more than just, this is a, a soulmate connection. It was definitely more than just sex, but the passion was there, um, very strongly. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The King of Pentacles again. So most definitely this is with an air sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There is a new beginning here in love for you. There is a new, um, uh, an unconditional amount of love here as well. This person um, just needed to get their stability. They needed to find themselves again. This person was very lost. This person could have had drug or alcohol addictions. Um, and they are currently battling their own demons, but those are, they are breaking free of those chains. If they were a part of a third party or you were a third party, they are also breaking away from any contracts or people that they are chained to or bonded to. Why is the devil here in reverse for the present? Yeah, they're just trying to find balance again. They need to break away from whoever this is that they are chained to, this toxic relationship that they're currently in, and they need to find their own balance. They need to um, work on their own energy and finding themselves again. They feel very lost. Why is justice here? Yeah, they are going to either you, Sagittarius, whoever it is that is married or in a long-standing relationship, they are going to move away from that connection um, in search of those two of cups. Um, or this could be you as well, Sagittarius, but uh, you are moving in a direction that is in your spiritual path. If you're questioning, if you're doing the right thing, if you're on the right path, yes, you are. Um, and Things will become fair and balanced for you. If they are needing to leave somebody that is going to court, um, like in a divorce, or if they've been in a long-term commitment, that is uh, being dealt with, but it's dealing with karma. You both have your own karma that you have to deal with, um, and both of you are moving away from current situations that you're in and moving towards a more spiritual um, direction in search of each other's cup. Why is the hermit here? Yeah, so you're no longer, while you're, um, you've really gone within, you've gone within and you've found your own inner light and they are beginning to do that as well. They are no longer fighting that. They were at one point um, trying to resist this connection, trying to make things work with their family, um, but they're no longer fighting the connection the two of you share because it does come in right under the king of cups. So they're no longer fighting that bond that the two of you have, that unconditional love that you share for each other. Why is the sun here for Saji? Most definitely an earth sign. If you see, I mean, every single one is earth. Well, except for that one, but why is the sun here? The queen of pentacles. So yeah, you are being encouraged to um, follow that path you're being guided by the universe to take. Um, continue to nurture yourself, love yourself, work on your own pinnacle. Um, and this is going to come into a connection because this is a soulmate that you're dealing with. Um, but uh, the universe is guiding you into a more nurturing and loving path as well as them. It is also illuminating um, things that were done in the past to those who need to see it to help balance out, um, the karma or not the karma to, to balance out the energies. Um, why is the six of cups here? Oh, wow. Beautiful. 
the Six of Cups with the lovers, um, choosing love, choosing to be together, choosing to go against um, family traditions is what I just heard, and just to choose love, to pick the path that, um, that the two of you are both feel like you're guided to take. Um, this is most definitely a soulmate connection with the two of you guys here. Why is the Five of Wands and Temperance in the outcome? Why is the Five of Wands here? The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there could have been a lot of internal um, conflict due to children. They could have children. You could have children. Whoever it is that has to leave somebody else. They have children in the mix, and they were um, they were conflicted on whether to stay or to go because of the children. But in the end, love will conquer all. The soulmate is clarifying temperance. So you're going to find self-healing. You're going to find self-love. You're going to find balance. Um, be patient. Your soulmate is working on themselves as well. Um, they are thinking about you every day. They're um, nostalgia around your, your memories. And they're working hard to heal themselves as well. So they can come forward and be with you in this soulmate twin flame connection. The bottom of the clarifying deck is the tower that is clarifying the eight of wands. So they are reaching out and letting you know that things are falling apart in their life. Things are coming crashing down. Um, be there for them as a friend. But they're opening up communication and letting you know that things um, with the other relationship are um, not working out. This King of Pentacles uh, will clarify, uh, or the Ace of Pentacles clarifies the King of Pentacles, a new beginning, which is awesome because the Ace of Pentacles came out in the beginning of your reading, your very first card out. It is now in the upright, um, clarifying the King of Pentacles. So you're going to get this new beginning, this gift from the universe with this King of Pentacles, who's going to provide um, you love and um, the two of you will build a solid foundation together. The two of you will build a solid new beginning of abundance together. And finally, the Hierophant is clarifying the alchemist. So you are manifesting, as are they, a commitment into the physical, bringing it from the spiritual world into the material world and into a commitment with each other, um, a commitment uh, with source. With the Trinity here, we have a commitment um, to you two together and you two together with Source will, um, will manifest a beautiful, beautiful relationship for the two of you. You just have to be a little bit more patient. Archangel Michael is overseeing this relationship and will bring the two of you together. Um, it's just going to take just a little bit more time. This is all coming about in the end of February, so it won't be much longer. All right, let's get one card for Sagittarius, please, goddesses and angels. Thank you. All right. You are a channel for healing, or you are a channel for divine healing power. Beautiful. The bottom of your deck is undying love. The love you two share is eternal regardless of the situation. Look at that. The love you two share is eternal regardless of the situation. So be patient with this person. They are coming. This is eternal love. And you are a channel for divine healing power. For divine feminine, you most definitely are the channel for your divine masculine as they need to heal from this tower moment. Like I said, they will come to you, letting you know that this is going on. Um, allow them to heal from your channel, from your healing power. So, all right, Sagittarius, this most definitely is a divine um, relationship coming into the in, coming into union. Um, be patient with them. They will open up this communication, but they are um, going to be experiencing this tower moment. So be patient, allow them to close out this chapter in their life that needs to come to an end. And the two of you will be together very, very soon. So, all right, Sagittarius, I hope you have a beautiful end of February and God bless.